Hey, this is Block Ops. It's a beautiful day in the crypto mining world. I'm gonna give you an update on what I'm doing here. I'm standing in a shipping container that we've got our fans that we took out of our facility. And as a quick recap for y'all, uh, we rented this facility four years ago. The lease is up, we built it out. It's about a 800 kilowatt uh, mining facility. And since then we've bought some land and decided that we're going to put all our existing gear that's in this facility into a shipping container build out and then we can put the shipping container wherever we can find the least expensive electricity so if y'all have seen the tour before uh, you knew there was a, a big uh, thousand kva transformer out here it's gone and we've pulled the electrical cabling out uh, so this is pretty thick electric uh, cabling it's heavy you can see um, you know the cross section of the copper here and it's a lot of copper and that's why we rented a place that's uh, was right next to where the electric mains are so we can minimize the, the runs of copper You can see all the copper cabling laying down here that we took out So let me talk to you about how we hooked up the electricity here our uh, power company only gave us the choice of providing a 208 uh, volt Delta uh, transformer uh, Which we got up and running fast in 2016. So that was good uh, But it causes some compromise on the rest of the electrical design. So if you're doing a new design uh, a better design is with a 415Y transformer because it allows you to break those three phases into single phase electricity uh, uh, more quickly. So with a 415Y, you can do phase to neutral and get 240 volts. Uh, with 208 Delta, we do phase to phase connections and that gives us 208 volts. It works, uh, it's not quite as efficient and I'll show you why. So here is uh, the big, um, Here's the 1200 amp disconnect coming in from the outside and we pulled all the cables out uh, But we had three phases coming in here red black um, And blue and then the neutral on the bottom You can still see the neutral cables uh, here. These are neutral cables that go to the uh, 400 amp panels. So also on this large panel we have three phase uh, breakers and those go to the rotating machinery to the fans and we do three phase to the fans because they're rotating machinery and it's much more efficient than doing single phase fans with run start capacitors which simulates three phases so we just provide three phases from the get-go then here on the 400 amp breakers these go to the three 400 amp panels you can see how we do three phases uh, to the 400 amp panels uh, and, and do those and we have the three phases of the, the bus bars here, and this is how they connect on, on the bus bars. So you can see the uh, disconnect is on the bottom, and it connects to the bus bars. We have the breakers that connect to that, and then we have the 400 uh, amp circuit breakers. Then we go up and over to these other panels. For this one 1200 amp panel, we connect to three uh, 400 amp uh, panels also and then we do a second setup just like the first one uh, so this gives us um, those types of connections now the reason I say that 208 is not quite as efficient is that in this uh, 400 amp uh, setup we have the three phases coming in at the top we have three bus bars and then we have the the neutral here and if we set up everything in a balanced fashion then uh, not much goes across neutral, which is, is fine. But in each of these, we have to have two breakers. So one breaker, uh, so these two breakers, and then we can connect single phase coming out of here. So it's three phase coming into here, and three phase is more efficient because the three phases of electricity are 120 degrees apart. So what, with the same size electric cable carrying three phase, it can carry 1.7 times as much power as a single phase. So when you're converting from three phase to single phase, you actually multiply the amps by 1.7 to, to, to where you're at. Um, so these coming off this pair of breakers is a single phase 30 amp. So one of the phases is a phase-to-phase -phase differential between the red and black. Another of the phases is the differential between the black and the blue. And another phase is the differential between blue and red. So we'll have three different phases, single phase, 30 amps, going to 
the 30 amp receptacles, which in our situation we use a 30 amp uh, power distribution unit uh, to provide, uh, to then let the miners plug into that. So you can see from this panel we have you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 2, so 20, 208 volt 30 amp connections, 40, 60, and then three more panels just like it. So that gives us 120 30 amp 208 volt connections, each somewhere between 5 and, and 6,000 watts. So that's where we get to about uh, 800 kilowatts total uh, supplied power. So anyway, it's not often that you can see the panels open like this and see how the connections are done and um, uh, learn from it. So if I was going to be doing a 415Y, then I could actually, since we're doing phase to neutral, into each panel, I would only need to bring one phase and one neutral and then have one breaker for a 30 amp connection. So I would do, for example, black and white to this panel, red and white to this panel, blue and white to this panel. Of course, it's very important to keep the load on the different phases balanced so you don't have a lot of uh, extra electricity flowing across the, the neutral. Uh, but that, you know, just make sure when you hook up your machines that you do it in a methodical fashion. Uh, and the other things that, that we're doing, we had a, a big tunnel to, to force air. Uh, we're disassembling the tunnel and we're putting everything into the shipping containers. We're, we're going to uh, fill this container and uh, ship it up to the, to the warehouse. Then we're going to bring another container in, put all the electrical panels, the rest of the equipment, uh, the old miners and the old boxes. Uh, we keep all the old miners and boxes because um, you never know what point in the future that maybe somebody wants to buy them or they become profitable. Uh, so anyway, Block Ops with an update on what we're doing. Yeah, we got a hard day of uh, a few hard weeks of work ahead of us to get this done. So Bitcoin mining and uh, cryptocurrency is not all just sitting behind a computer and doing things. Uh, a lot of times it's uh, difficult engineering work uh, with a process and, and a plan in mind uh, to accomplish things. So have a great day. Thanks.